Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. A student contacted me through LinkedIn and asked me if I thought it was worth going into the geosciences. Now, I do believe there is a future for the geosciences with a few caveats. Now, I could also be extremely jaded or simply realistic, but what I'm going to talk about in this video is that five things I wish that I knew before I started a degree in the geosciences. Now, before I get going, if you have any questions or any concerns or anything that you want me to talk about, leave it down below or contact me through LinkedIn. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. When I started my geophysics degree a very long time ago, I had a mountain of questions I needed answers for. I get asked some of those questions all the time through LinkedIn. My questions ranged from, would I be able to get a job in the geosciences after I finished my degree? Was geoscience something I was going to enjoy doing? What should I focus on in the geosciences? And finally, is there a future in the geosciences at all? I wasn't even sure if continuing on in a university setting was even a good option at that point. For me, there was a few luck factors involved in my continuing on in the geosciences. At the time, there was a light at the end of the tunnel as the notorious cycles of oil were at the top right when I started my degree. I also lived in an oil city where people had some reasonably paying jobs through the geosciences. I further had programming skills which allowed me to hide in an academic job for years. While all my questions were legitimate, many had easy answers even at the time. For instance, if the question is about a future in the geosciences, this is an absolute positive and here is why. According to the World Bank, the population trend of the planet simply looks like this. Also, according to World Vision, poverty around the world looks like this. What does this mean? This means that people are richer, people need stuff, you know, stuff like food, transportation, clothes, fuels, phones, batteries, power. Where does this stuff come from? That's right, the Earth the playground of the geosciences. There were also questions I had no idea about asking, and I'm gonna talk about something similar about that in this video. You see, I'm gonna talk about the five things that I wish that I knew before I started a geoscience degree. Number one, I wish I knew to keep my options open. Of course, that was in the back of my head, but at the time, people were saying to make sure that I studied really, really hard and left some hobbies by the wayside. What we've seen in recent years is that the gig economy is here to stay. That means you're gonna have to split your talents among different areas. And if you're really, really good at making connections, making one giant awesome career, mixing all your talents together. Number two. I wish I really, really knew that the boom and bust cycle of oil was real and actually worse than I thought. Growing up in Calgary, the oil town I spoke about before, you know, I knew there was downturns all the time. I did see quite a bit of wealth going around and that did encourage me to go into the geosciences when I got to university. I can say, however, when the next two downturns happened, I saw a lot of people with some very high educations and very good experiences out of work. With such specialized education, it is very hard for people to see how to get out of that downturn hole. This goes back to keeping your options open, which is good in a gig economy because that means you can spread a lot of your talents over very specific areas or again, cross them all together into something awesome. Number three, and this pops up quite a bit when I think about it, because I will always be amazed just how little of my education I remember and just how little of it I actually put to use every day. 
I am not saying that a university education isn't important. I spent many, many years in a university setting. This could go into a whole debate about the purpose of a university education and the classical aspects of learning and becoming a well-rounded person. But ultimately, if all I really wanted was a job at the end, probably I could have lost half of those courses or paid attention only half the time. Number four. Realize just how ignorant the general public is about where their stuff comes from. People take for granted how things are made and where they come from. The social media world has amplified this to a horrendous point. A barista, I'm not picking on baristas, can tweet about how the world is going to end in 12 years from her iPhone selling coffee beans that don't grow anywhere near the country she lives in, her house being kept warm by natural gas that comes from really deep in the earth, and live in a country where solar power won't work very well due to snow and daylight hours due to the planet tilting. Now, don't get me wrong, environmental issues are important, but we have lived for so long without any adversity, we are taking what we have for granted. Which brings to my last thing that I wish I knew about geoscience before I started, and this gives me a bit of pride. Number five, we explore the world, we find value, and that means danger, that means responsibility, and that means money. There are no mustache twirling villains at these corporations. What I see now, is I see giant systems that are keeping people safe, keeping people employed, making a better world. Again, I'm not against environmental issues, but there is a system in place for very salient reasons. We disturb them and change them at our own peril. And those are my thoughts on what I wish I knew before starting a degree in the geosciences. With proper mindsets, you can avoid many of the pitfalls that a geoscience education may have. There is a future if you are aware and plan properly. Now, I also steer cleared of the jaded aspects of my take on the geosciences. Perhaps that will be for a future video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.